Hey you guys, get ready with me while I go over my favorite OnlyFans tips for 2023 specifically. I know this year is already well underway, however, I think it's still a good time to kind of go over the new trends and the new stuff going on, especially in the OnlyFans world for this year. So as of now in 2023, there are more OF creators than there ever were because the platform is constantly growing. So with that, there's gonna be new advice and new things that I recommend you do to keep your account as one of the top accounts and that top 0% is always the goal. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be getting ready and giving you guys advice. So enjoy. So my first piece of advice, if you are starting OnlyFans in 2023, is realize that marketing is everything. And when I say marketing, I don't mean paid promotions or OnlyFans management or anything like that. When I say marketing, I mean your own social media marketing is going to be the majority of the work whenever you start your OnlyFans page. So historically for me, the most important social media platform has been TikTok. However, I will say now in 2023, the most important platform for me is Instagram. And when I say Instagram, I don't necessarily mean just the normal photo posting routine that we're all used to whenever we see Instagram. I mean Instagram Reels. Um, so Instagram Reels are obviously their short form video platform thing that they use. And it has been really, really helpful for us sex workers. I know a lot of the girls that I work with have gotten reels with millions of views and have built their OnlyFans pages solely from reels. So in 2023, just remember that TikTok is obviously still really important and crucial, but the most important thing, which wasn't necessarily as important before is Instagram reels. So get on reels, post every day. I have more specific in-depth advice about Instagram Reels and TikTok on my last YouTube video, the one right before this. So make sure to go check that out. Another piece of advice that I have for OnlyFans girls who are starting out this year, or even if you're already a bit established and you're just going into 2023 and you feel like your strategies aren't working, don't sleep on Reddit. A lot of girls give up on Reddit because the platform is complicated. You have to build karma. You have to be a certain age on the platform. And by age, I mean profile age. Um, you have to have a certain profile age to even post on Reddit and things like that. So a lot of girls just give up because they're like, you know, they have some traction on Instagram or TikTok. So they say, why bother? Um, I would really implore you not to give up on Reddit, especially this year, because Reddit is extremely important. One reason that Reddit is important is because if all else fails, as far as us getting banned on TikTok or Instagram or any platform like that, Reddit is a platform that allows explicit content. So it's a good backup to have whenever, when, and I'm not saying if, I'm saying when, when we get banned on any other platform. Not only that, it's that now on Reddit, you have the potential to go viral. So on my Reddit, where my partner, my husband runs it, we've gone viral on a couple of subreddits and it has really paid off. Now, it currently for my OnlyFans, about a third of the subscribers are from Reddit and Reddit just keeps growing as well. People are talking about Reddit more and more and I even see it brought up a lot on TikTok. So, it's trendy right now. Do not sleep on Reddit just because it's complicated. Watch some YouTube videos about it. Um, I'm about to make another YouTube video about it, uh, but I have all this advice posted on my Fansly blog as well. So this year, make it a goal just to start your Reddit and maintain it. Even if it's a slow process, just do it. And you got this. It's really not that hard, you guys. We can do it. We can figure it out. When it comes to running your actual OnlyFans, my biggest advice for this year is to get a mentor and get advice from people who are in your niche that are doing the numbers that you want to be doing and are making the content that you are either already making and you feel like theirs is just getting more traction or they're making the content that you aspire to make and get some mentorship from them. It doesn't have to be me. 
even though my Fansly blog is really complete and it has really simplistic and easy to follow tutorials for y'all, um, whoever your favorite creator is, look and see if they have their own advice because like you'll be surprised to see how many creators are actually offering um, advice and tutorials and things like that. I know not a lot of us do it, but for example, I do and a lot of people weren't initially aware of it because I don't really talk about it anywhere except for YouTube. So if it's not me, that's fine, but get a mentor, get some sort of inspiration of someone who's doing the numbers you want to do. I definitely have my own mentors and people I work with who I look up to. And when it comes to them making content, you know, I definitely draw inspiration from them. But more importantly, I ask for that behind the scenes advice and, you know, kind of like emotional advice as well, like how to deal with all this and the most effective way to market and everything like that. The most important thing to take out of this though is that it needs to align with your niche. You know, like if you are a content creator that focuses on a certain type of content, it will be best to find a mentor who also creates that kind of content. Is it 100% necessary? No, like I think that we can all learn something from each other even if it's not the exact same type of content. However, the end goal should always be from learning from someone who's doing the same thing that you want to be doing. My next piece of advice for OnlyFans creators going into 2023 is to build your community of fellow creators. Now, this doesn't have to do particularly with getting new subscribers and marketing and making money, blah, blah, blah. However, it is just as important and advantageous is to build a community of creators that you can ask questions to and you can rely on for certain things that you may need, even if it's just a daily emotional support. So the way that I do this is number one, my Fansly blog. My Fansly blog is a really, really great resource to me. I have girls every day on there ask me questions. I provide them emotional support. A lot of women just come to me and they're just like, I just feel alone in this. I need help with this. Um, you know, very personal issue that I'm dealing with as an OnlyFans creator, as a mother you know, as someone with a normal nine to five kind of thing who they just know that I've been there too and they want my emotional support. So if you want that type of one-on-one -on -one messaging, just add me on my Fansly blog. However, another place to do this is Twitter. So on my Twitter, the majority of the people I follow are just other OnlyFans creators and it's an absolute highlight of my day whenever I log onto Twitter because all of us are just talking about things that's going on in the um, OnlyFans community, especially like on social media, whether like we're getting banned today a lot or whether there's a really cool TikTok trend that's going on. So definitely go onto Twitter right now and follow a bunch of OnlyFans creators. I bet if you look at your following, a bunch of creators are already following you. So follow them back or reach out to some new ones and follow them. Reply to their tweets and I promise you it will really pay off. It's really, really important to have those kind of check-ins with other creators and see what's going on. It's it's literally just as important as typical marketing and things like that. So definitely look into that. My next piece of advice for OnlyFans creators this year is that we are going to start taking care of our mental health. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen recently and if this is triggering for you, Definitely want to put a trigger warning about self-harm and suicide. If that's extremely triggering for you, please exit the video. Some creators have taken their lives and I just think that it goes to show that the stigma against this industry is not just mean TikTok comments and haters on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. It's actual, it's actually damaging to us as people or we're, we're literally humans and we're not robots and at the end of the day it hurts to see these types of comments however they're not going anywhere no one's going to stop hating on us no one's going to feel bad for us even though there's literally creators dying from this type of bullying so prioritize your mental health no one's going to do it for you you have to do it find an escape find a support system find a group um, i can be there for you 
or the women in Twitter could be there for you, but you have to find support. And if you don't have that support, you need to reconsider the career, especially if you already feel it taking its toll on your mental health. It's extremely serious and extremely dangerous. So in 2023, we are going to prioritize our mental health and we are going to go to therapy. We are going to find a support system and we're going to do all that good stuff. So my next advice for creators in 2023 is going to be reaching new audiences, which I talk about this all the time on my blog. And it's the reason that I open new accounts every couple months. And it's the real reason why I have grown and been able to build the audience that I have on OnlyFans is by always trying to reach new audiences. So what I mean by that is that you have your niche, you're well established, you're doing great in your niche. However, you're going to reach a point of plateau. And that basically happens whenever you have reached a lot of the audience in your specific niche. So what you're going to want to do is to open up your niche again and possibly even get into a new niche. So what I did was I know I had reached already that, you know, whatever niches you want to categorize me as. However, I kind of consider myself like girl next door, hot blonde, MILF, whatever you want to think about. A lot of people say I'm not MILF because I'm too young to be a true MILF, which I get it. So those niches I kind of had plateaued and as much like as I do identify with my niche and it is my true niche, I knew I needed to switch it up a little bit. And something I've always loved is um, cosplaying. I just enjoy watching cosplayers. I just naturally subscribe to them and watch them um, normally. So I was like, I want to give it a try. And I did it. I started cosplaying. And to this day, I am a cosplayer and I absolutely love it. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do in this year, you should make it your goal, is to reach an entirely new audience. Try a new type of content, try a new niche, try a new, um, even if it's like a fetish content, if you're doing it for your NSFW platforms, try a new fetish content, reach a new audience this year. That is my advice to you, because doing the same thing year after year, it does work for a lot of people, but with these large creators, you will see that they have their hands in all sorts of different niches. Um, and that doesn't necessarily have to be just a normal theme. It can just be an entirely new platform. Like, for example, Twitch. A lot of the largest OnlyFans creators are girls who started on Twitch. So try Twitch. You know, try starting here on YouTube. Try, um, you know, if you're not already on TikTok and Instagram, which I would not know why you're not already on there, but, you know, try these different platforms and see what works for you. You might find that on Twitch, people really um, gravitate towards you. You know, you might find that these YouTube videos that you make are very beneficial to you. Um, so whenever I say YouTube as well, I think a lot of people think that you have to do advice videos. You don't. You can do try on hauls, you can do day in my life, like you can do sexy, cute content that is just aimed at your potential subscribers. You don't have to do advice like I do. Um, but whatever you want to do, just know that make sure that it is going to convert to some sort of dollar to you. Don't just make content that you kind of hope is going to get traction and lead to somewhere. Like if it doesn't have a certain landing point, then there's no point in making the content unless you just really like to create the content, which is great as well. But at the end of the day, that's not going to pay the bills. So that's my advice. Reach a new platform and always make sure there's a landing page for that platform that will make you money. So whether it's your OnlyFans or like me and my YouTube, it's my Fansly advice blog. Um, because at the end of the day, your time is money. You deserve to be compensated for your time and knowledge and your, con your content. So if you're making cute and sexy content, make the landing page your OnlyFans. If you're making educational content, make the, make the landing page your educational content. So that's my advice there. Reach new audiences and get those landing pages secured so that it's worth your time. So guys, this is my finished makeup look. If you were kind of following along, but I just want to thank y'all for watching this video. 
Um, my biggest takeaways for this video, obviously in 2023, are to make sure you're making that short form video content, whether it's on Instagram, Reels, TikTok, and even YouTube Shorts. Um, get a mentor, someone in your niche, reach new audiences, and most, most importantly, is take care of your mental health. Our community cannot stand to lose anyone else. Like truly, we cannot. Build a community of fellow sex workers on your Twitter page, on Reddit, wherever you feel comfortable doing so, you know, even Instagram, and rely on them for emotional support. And if you are a woman, or even if you are a man, <laughs> or whatever you identify as, please just be nice to every single person you come across with in this life. Um, especially if they are doing you no harm, these things that are said on the internet can truly take a toll on a person. And we've seen that recently with some losses and deaths in the um, sex worker community that is absolutely devastating. So this year in 2023, I want you guys to take care of your mental health and I want you to focus on building your community because whenever you have this community of other sex workers, we all lift each other up and these interactions are good for everything and it's even good for our online business. So that's my other advice. Just remember that I love you. I am here for you. If you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one personally, whether it's about marketing advice, sales advice, or just emotional advice, please join me on my Fansly blog. Um, my blog has absolutely everything you would need to get started on OnlyFans. Um, or to boost your page on OnlyFans. Um, whenever you sign up for my Fansly blog, you get a free trial link to my OnlyFans page. So don't buy my OnlyFans page if you're planning on signing up for my Fansly because you will automatically get it. Just message me for that link. And then you also get hundreds of advice posts that I have on there. In addition, you get unlimited Q&A with me. Um, and I would just love to have you on there and we can chat and I can give you any sort of guidance that I can offer. But thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And please let me know if you want to do an in-depth makeup tutorial. It turned out pretty good today. I did it really quickly. I actually am going into surgery on Friday, so I'm going to try to get some last minute content done before my surgery. So thank you guys for watching. Love y'all.